will be not original when I will say that everything's changed when you have a kids. You have a big distance to the sport and I always got the distance, but you know, if things are not going well in sport, um, sometimes you are maybe not depressed, but sad and so on. If you have a babies, it's okay, just one bad race, one bad training. You don't care so much. You care, of course, because I am motivated, but uh, yeah, these kids, suck my energy of course physically but they give me back double you know so i'm i'm very very happy and yeah to be a mom it's the biggest challenge in my life and it makes me so happy i really can't de describe it i'm double happy <laughs>double apartments, bigger car and all that organization stuff to people to take care of the babies when I'm at the training. My family support me really much and <laughs> especially parents of course, my fiancé Shimon is also in it and also the sponsors uh, who support me because it costs a lot. I can't imagine that I will not see my baby 200 days per year, so it's impossible. As I said before, plan was a little bit complicated because they have two kids. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we are, we manage, you know. Dear my other friends, <laughs> I would like to introduce myself. My name is Kuba, and this is my twin brother, Casper. Yeah, train with my kids, it's no problem. Or some dry shooting at home. I know that this is, uh, this looks maybe strange. Mother, rifle, and two little kids. <laughs> but they have no ammunition, so they are saved. <laughs> I'm damnly tired, <laughs> sleepless nights and all that stuff, but I love it. Yeah, I'm finding my energy also from, from the kids, but I'm really, really enjoying my motherhood and also preparation to the Olympic Games. My fiancé is a coach of badminton, so generally we fight for. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they, they will try both sports, of course, and also other. I don't know if they, will, if they would like to be professional athletes, doesn't matter, biathletes or badminton players. Uh, but for sure we want to take care of them and to put them to some clubs, because in my opinion this is the best way to create a young person, being in sport. You know, you have to fight, you have to be motivated, you have to be good for your team, uh, teammates and so on and so on. So yes, they will, they will do biathlon for sure. I don't know how long. <laughs> I build my own way because probably I'm the only one twin mom in the tour. <laughs> uh, but before I get pregnant, uh, I, I was talking with Marie Dorel and I was asking about her experience and so on. I wanted to know the most as is possible also with Celine Gasparin a, a little bit. And yeah, everything is possible. Dasha showed us this season very fast that she, she Mother can be really strong. I really hate that, you know, when the people think that if you became a mother, you forgotten or you don't have anymore your skills. No, you just need time to, to be back, but 
you are not losing your skills. <laughs> I've got a feeling that I'm enjoying much more now to be biathlete. It was a long, long uh, way to be back. I've got the problem with the belly because my belly was really, really, really big. You can imagine. So I need time to recover so I couldn't be so fast like Dasha and, and maybe other, uh, other mothers. Uh, yeah, but this is also a really good lesson for myself as a person. Much better group, perfect. I would still do one First of all, I have to say that we have a new coach and we create our own goals and also team goals. One of the team goals is, of course, uh, to make a really good result, uh, maybe medal result uh, um, at the Olympic Games. And the spirit is really good. We support each other during the trainings, which is very important. And um, yeah, our new coach, Tobias, is a uh, demand, but he's also very good as a person, sometimes really funny. So he brings a lot of good, fresh energy in the team. And also, I think because of this, the season Polish team can be much stronger than last year's. I don't know how to say, how to explain, but uh, I can't be so motivated when I know that the competi competitions are not so big. I'm not that kind of athlete who can push in each competition, who want to win each competition. No, I don't know how to explain, but uh, I'm always focusing on the big ev events. Some of the people think that I'm crazy. Maybe it's right, <laughs> maybe they are right. But uh, yeah, this is my last dream. I've got a dream to be at the Olympic Games. I've got a dream to be a, a world champion medalist. Uh, I get it already. And the only one dream from my childhood is to, to get the Olympic medal. And I really believe that with the team we can fight for uh, at the relay and maybe in some individual race. I'm working on, we will see. <laughs> I'm just happy to be a mom, I'm happy to be back in biathlon, I'm happy that I have such a big aim like Olympic Games and I dare to dream about the Olympic medals. All of the athletes dream about, I'm just, I'm just telling, okay, I have, I have that kind of dream and I'm not afraid to say that. I think the worst thing is that people don't try. I'm trying with the two kids and so on, I'm trying, we will see. Oh. <laughs>